everybody, it's Angie from Angie's Place. I have Grace and Delilah. This is an awesome Christian subscription. To me, it's the best one. <laughs> um, but before I tell you about it, if you'll do me a favor and hit the like and the subscribe, that will help me out so much. And just to let you know, I also have a giveaway going on. So check out either um, one of my Instagram posts or over on YouTube. The YouTube video will tell you um, more about it. So, hope to see you there. Anyway, so about the Grace and Delilah. Like I said, it is the best description, a Christian subscription there is out there. Um, you get to learn about all the women in the Bible through different perspectives. Okay, because you got to remember the Bible is a history book. If you want to look at it that way. I kind of look at it because these people wrote it. So, yes, it was inspired by God. However, man still wrote it. So, it's really, if you look at it, it's an account of history and prophecies. So, because, yes, it has prophecies in it as well. So, but the Delilah box gives you the women of the Bible, which you don't hear a lot about. You hear about... You know, um, Ruth and obviously Delilah, right? It is the Delilah box. So, ouch. you hear about um, different things, but you get a different one every month that you're going to learn about. You get, um, they have three different subscriptions. They have a candle subscription for $16.50. They have a Eve box, which is only one, um one book and a few extra things in it and it comes in a lovely handmade bag which are beautiful and those are monthly as well and then they also have um i believe that's what this one is we'll find out when we get into it because this was sent to me for review thank you taylor that was very sweet um and the thoughts of these are my own if you watch the other videos you'll know Yes, I love this box. And if you subscribe to her email, you um, you get emails every month about whoever the lady is of the month. So, oh, and not to mention, it's not just good women, it's the bad women too. The reasons why, possibly what happened, because remember, it was a totally different role. Women didn't have a whole lot of rights back then. All right, so we're gonna dig into it. And look at there. Awesome! Okay, so come in, they come in really cute boxes. And let's see, we have, let's see, it's a tea caddy. Let's open it up. Pretty. I don't know how people do ribbons like that. It's so awesome. Let's see. Oh, that is so cute. So, so, so cute. It says sweet tea on it. And it's in the shape of a teacup. Isn't that just awesome? I love that. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. I like tea. I'm more of a sweet tea person. And I do do hot teas. I do do some hot teas. My husband's really into hot tea. He loves like all the herbal teas. I like a few of them. Um, but he likes a lot of the herbal teas and stuff. So he would love this. It is so cute. I actually, um, one of the things I got him last year was a, hot tea. Was it a tea kettle and cups and stuff. And everybody's like, no, no. It's like, yeah, he's going to love it. And he did. He loved it. I think that was his favorite gift, actually, which is strange. But it, I think it was. Ooh, good. We got mixed. Ooh, mixed um, berry. Ooh, I'm going to have to try this one. Ooh, and I got two bags so I can try for my husband. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then an extra one just in case I like it. I know he'll like it. He'll really like it. Okay, then we get these postcards. Um, and this says August Delilah box and it tells you everything that's in it. 
And then we got a strawberry bruschetta. Ooh, strawberry bruschetta. Nice. A baguette, goat cheese, two strawberries, extra virgin olive oil, basil leaves, lime juice, maple syrup, and balsam reduction sauce. I love strawberry bruschetta. I'm not kidding. That, that's just crazy. I really do. Oh, and this is strawberry, so I've got to try it. Okay, I'll definitely try that. And this is a grape walnut salad. Ooh, no mayonnaise. That's a plus. I took, okay. Um, I can see the grapes. Red and green, cream cheese, sour cream, just a little bit of white sugar, vanilla, walnuts, and brown, brown sugar. Okay, I'll have to try that too because there's no mayonnaise in this one. So that, I like that. I like that mixture. <laughs> and this is um, their candle company. See, this is, I'll show it to you so you can see because it's only $16.50. And just to let you know, the shipping is really not that expensive. I, oh goodness, I think I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. Um, the Delilah box is $29 a month and it's a $4 shipping, so it's $33. Or maybe it's $5, $34. I can't remember um, whether it's $4 or $5 for shipping. But really, it's, I mean, think about what you get. It's awesome. And then, sorry, I got a little ducky. They're laying it up against me. They're so cute. Okay. You didn't want to hear about my duckies. Oh, they're so cute. They're adorable. They're adorable. Absolutely cute. Um, oh, I got off track. Okay, so this is this one is twenty nine dollars. They also have one, the Eve box, which only has like I said, it's a it's an easier version. You only get one book, and then you also get a couple extra things a pad a pen and like tea or coffee with it um and i believe every once in a while maybe cocoa during the holidays if i remember right i could be like totally wrong could be apple cider i really don't know we'll have to wait and see what she puts in it i vote for hot cocoa <laughs> i know most people go for coffee i'm just a i like cocoa with tea anyway this is and this one's 16.50 um, the Eve box is $17.50 and again, this box is $29. Shipping is actually really affordable. I mean, it's all very good. You get a good price and you can use like this one right here. You could use, oh, okay, the other two. Oh, on one of them, there's another one, taco pasta salad. So yeah, they got another one. So not, wow, that's three recipes. Okay, and the delight box is up to you, but you could still use this postcard too. But they're pretty. Um, I've, I've got an album I'm getting ready to put all my pictures and stuff in that I get. Oh my gosh, because I get some. I love artwork. I think it's um, very beautiful. So when I get it, I just. I just like to look at it every once in a while. It's awesome what people can come up with. And this is their little book that goes with it. This is Job's Wife. Oh, wow awesome so if you're not familiar i think most people are familiar with job's wife but just in case you're not um job went through a lot and he never once blamed god he, he actually said should we not accept the bad said accept the um the good and not accept the bad so you have to accept one and the other because the bad could be if you're going through something bad, it could be a learning experience for you, making you stronger or some other thing, or help for somebody else down the road. It gives you compassion, or maybe you're helping somebody else get through it. So, oh my God knows what you're gonna go through. I'm living proof. <laughs> anyway, this is Yes Sister, surrounding yourself with women who affirm, encourage, and challenge you by Angela White with Erin Keeley Marshall. Isn't that awesome? I actually want to read this book. This is because it's so true. You have to surround yourself with strong women that are there for you. 
and and um, if you're a Christian, you understand what that means, what the fellowship means with the others. And I'm sorry if you've ever went to a church and not felt that way. You didn't feel um, loved and accepted no matter who you are. Yeah, that's not your church. When you go to a church, the church is supposed to be loving and accepting and forgiving, just like God is. So, if, like I said, if you go to a church and you don't feel that, that's the wrong church. You, you don't need to go there. You need to be somewhere where other people share your beliefs and help you. Because that's how we stay strong is together. And so I'm not saying you have to go to a church. Because you don't have to. Um, you can read the Bible at home and maybe it's your family members that are Christians and stuff. Or maybe you're supposed to change your family's mind. Whatever it is. God knows. God knows. Anyway, this one is, the next one is The Hiding Place. It's the 35th anniversary edition by Corey Tin Boom. And it's with Elizabeth and John Sherrill. And let me see. Now, the other one, I know what that one was about. This one, I'm not so sure. Every experience God gives us is the perfect preparation for the future only he can see. Corey Ten Boom was a Dutch watchmaker who became a heroine. He, I'm sorry, heroine in the resistance. A survivor of Hitler's, con of Hitler's concentration camps and one of the most remarkable evangelists of 20th century. In World War II, she and her family asked their risk their lives to help Jews and underground workers escape from the Nazis. And for their work, they were tested in the infamous Nazi death camps. Only Corey among her family survived to tell the truth of how faith ultimately triumphs over evil. Here is the riveting account of how Corey and her family were able to save many of God's chosen people. For 35 years, millions have been have seen what there is no pit so deep that god's love is not deeper still now the hiding place repackaged for a new generation of readers continues to declare god's love will overcome heal and restore this is going to be hard to get through um i definitely wanted to read it because um, obviously she has a first-hand experience and it is hard. I did a research. Um, oh my gosh, this is a long time ago. Oh my gosh, in middle school. And I had to research the whole thing. That was the hardest thing. I almost asked um, to do something else. But I stuck with it. Um, I believe that was because of the teacher I might have actually asked. But either way, that was one of the hardest things to research and to watch what so many people went through. It wasn't just the Jews. The Jews went through a really, really rough time, but so did people that refused to work for Hitler. So if you went in there, if you did not accept the job, you were sent to a concentration camp as well. So you had a choice to make. Granted, I know what mine would have been. <laughs> but I'm really stubborn. Apparently I like pain. I don't know. Anyway, you don't want to know about that. You should see these cute little birds. They're so adorable. I'm telling you. They're sitting right up against me. You know what? I'm going to show you. I know this is supposed to be for grace and delay. Taylor, you have to take a look at these birds. Look at them. See my arm? Am I going down for enough? I'm trying to see on the video at the same time. Look at them. Aren't they just adorable? I did not get a say in what they are called. Just to let you know, they're called Time and Jerry. And if anybody of you, of you is older, you know 
Who are Tom? Maybe it's not you do if you're on younger, but Tom and Jerry is Cat and Mouse. Anyway, they named him. I didn't. So let me know if you like this subscription. Um, like I said, this you get a booklet. Two books. And the booklet, like I said, every month you'll get a new booklet who talks about the woman. And sometimes you get a book that goes along with the woman of the month too, because they make a woman. What what she could have been going through, why she made those decisions. You get three recipes, a postcard, and a little freebie there. You get two teas and an adorable tea tray. So, what do you think? Let me know down below how you like it, and I hope everyone has a blessed day. God bless. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.